So question for you, the viewer, now that the Super Mario 35th anniversary is done, and by the looks of it, Nintendo is done with Mario's anniversary too, do you think Nintendo will celebrate Zelda's 35th anniversary, and what games do you think Nintendo will give us? Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the RoboChan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we're going to talk about the Zelda 35th anniversary, what games would realistically be shown, and ask the question, will Nintendo do a Zelda 35th anniversary now that Mario's 35th anniversary is over? We're also going to have an overall discussion of the Zelda 35th anniversary and the idea of a Zelda 35th collection now that Nintendo has put to rest Mario's anniversary. I think it's also important to do a sort of mini review and try to figure out how Nintendo can do better with the Zelda 35th anniversary if it is real. Because let's be honest, the Mario 35th anniversary, although they did a lot right, they did some things that were kind of questionable or just weren't good. And also keep in mind that the Zelda 35th anniversary part of this video has a lot of speculation in it, so it's not fact. So what a ride the Mario 35th anniversary was, right? Through so many Nintendo rumors, leaks, different sources saying all these crazy things, it ended up being real. A lot of people were starting to have doubts in Mario's 35th anniversary and the thought that we wouldn't see Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, and just all these Mario games from Nintendo centered around Mario's 35th anniversary. I mean, heck, I even started to give up towards the very end. If you guys recall, there was a rumor that the Mario 35th reveal was going to be that week, and I thought that rumor was fake. But as we know, it turned out to be very real, and we got a lot of cool Mario-centric games and products. A Mario Battle Royale was made by Nintendo that I unfortunately never got the chance to play, but from the Twitter reaction, it seemed to be a good time. There was of course the Mario Kart Live game, which seemed really, really cool, and I'm definitely not at all mad that I didn't have enough money to buy it. Nope, not one bit. There were a lot of cool things, especially the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, which runs very, very good on the Nintendo Switch. But the main course of the Mario 35th anniversary was, of course, the Super Mario 3D Collection, the thing that literally everyone was hyped about. Until it was revealed, of course, and it kind of split everyone. Everyone had a side to pick. One side didn't like that it was just a slightly better version of the original games. The others were fine with it and were happy that we can finally play these Mario games on the go, anywhere, anytime. And I'll add a third side in there as well. For me, I'm glad that we can preserve these Nintendo games longer than usual. Something that we're seeing going wrong with PlayStation in their PlayStation Store, a lot of the digital-only games are being lost. Over 2,000 games are lost on the PSN Store because it's digital-only. It later came out that these games were being pulled off by emulation, which stirred the pot of anger even more, though this does leave room for options of other games coming back as well, which is also a good thing. Unfortunately, it also brought room for the Zelda 35th Anniversary to be treated the same way as the Mario 35th Anniversary games, as well as any other games that would be brought back on the Switch through emulation. With that being said, I'm sure all of us were pretty ticked off or at least a little bothered that the Super Mario 3D Collection was a limited run. Now, I remember at the time of the reveal that people were saying that people were just going to buy it anyways and people who were waiting weren't going to buy it at all. So it being a limited run didn't really matter too much because those who were going to buy it were going to buy it near the release. Well, that's not the case, at least in the UK anyways. As soon as the deadline of Mario's 35th anniversary was approaching, the sales in the Nintendo eShop spiked for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, meaning there is a lot of people in the UK rushing to buy this game before it leaves the eShop, meaning that people did wait months until the end to buy the game. Now, of course, this is a secluded incident, but it has led to more sales for the game, specifically because the game was going to be no longer available. And now, not only that, but this also has the scalpers popping up with insane prices for this game. And by the way, a message to anyone who's thinking of buying these games, please don't, especially the insane prices. I don't care if you're Scrooge Mc duck rich. Don't give in to these scalpers. Overall, the Mario 35th anniversary was fun, don't get me wrong, but there were some things that I personally didn't like and a lot of other people didn't like, like the limited runs of the games, the emulated barely upgraded Mario games. These were more or less a thorn in the Mario 35th anniversary buttocks, so to speak. 
But March 31st has passed and through all this fun, some disappointment, but mostly excitement, it is all over now. And now is the perfect time to be asking the question, will Nintendo do a Zelda 35th anniversary? First off, let's start off with how the whole idea of a Zelda 35th anniversary started. Because it's not just because it's Zelda's 35th anniversary, there are a lot of other tidbits here and there that have accumulated over time that have point to such an event. So the very first clue, or I guess it would be a Nintendo rumor at this point, is a lot of trademarks have appeared for Zelda products. Now this on its own isn't really much, this could just be for making Zelda products. Except for the fact that the amount of products and how it appeared, it was the very same fashion as the Mario 35th anniversary products. If you didn't know, before the Mario 35th anniversary Nintendo Direct, trademarks for that also appeared. Things like necklaces, clothes, controllers, and whatnot for non-video game products that Nintendo does for these kind of events. What's significant here is that the very same thing happened, but instead of Mario, it's for Zelda. This was the first clue. The second, and I think more notable than the trademarks, is the original source, the very same source that blew the whistle on the Mario 35th anniversary, which was real guys, despite you guys telling me that it was gonna be fake, had this to say on the Zelda 35th anniversary, and the games are coming from that. For those disappointed with the Skyward Sword remaster, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are 100% coming this year, so that's at least one good 3D Zelda. Now keep in mind that this is the very same guy from VGC who told us about the Mario 35th anniversary when the very first rumors came up. He was the original source, and I want you to also keep in mind that the rumors are also saying that something with Zelda is going to be happening in a couple months as I go forward with what I think will realistically happen. So what I think Nintendo will do is not hold a Zelda 35th anniversary Nintendo Direct, but I do think a Nintendo Direct or some kind of event will happen for E3 2021. E3 2021 is the time where Nintendo always comes up with their latest and new content and they want to promote it. By the time E3 2021 comes and pass, most of the notable games have been released that Nintendo has lined up. Games like Bravely Default, Monster Hunter Rise, Pokemon Snap, and smaller games as well. This leaves Nintendo with empty holes that need to be filled to keep fans' expectations up for the latest Nintendo Switch games. Nintendo Switch games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, a release date for the Pokemon remake, more info on that new open world Pokemon, Metroid Prime 4 as well, not to mention Bayonetta 3, a game that we know nothing about, we haven't even seen gameplay or even a CGI story trailer. And this is not just for Bayonetta 3, this is for Metroid Prime 4 as well, and of course Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't have any gameplay as well. These are huge tentpole Nintendo games that we know nothing about, and you're telling me E3 2021 is going to come up and Nintendo's not going to say anything, not even give us an update on when we can see these games? That'd be crazy. I mean, it's been over 600 days since the last Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. I think at least a story trailer is due by now, if not gameplay. So Nintendo realistically probably will throw an E3 digital event that is centered around a lot of Nintendo Switch games and will feature Zelda games. I think since it's been so long since the last trailer, we will get a significant portion of this devoted to Breath of the Wild 2. After that portion is done and we've seen some gameplay, some more info on the game, and perhaps even hopefully a release date for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, I think a Nintendo Direct will transition into celebrating Link's anniversary. I think they're going to show off a Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary that has Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, and Major's Mask. In my opinion, these are the most likely candidates for the collection, and I think we won't see the collection until holiday season, and here's why. The current narrative around the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and other Zelda games is that Nintendo is holding back because of marketing. They don't want the Skyward Sword sales and the collection sales to cannibalize each other, so they're waiting, and I think that they're going to reveal it at E3 and release it during holiday season of 2021. Skyward Sword is releasing on July 16th of 2021. This is plenty of room to gather sales on the game and then release the collection of Zelda's 35th anniversary during the holiday season. It's almost like a reverse Mario 35th anniversary where instead of Bowser's Fury releasing months after that direct, the collection would release instead and we would get Bowser's Fury closer to the Mario 35th anniversary direct. We will also probably get the usual Zelda clothes, merchandise, and whatnot as well. It won't be as big as the Mario 35th anniversary. I think it's going to be a smaller anniversary celebration, which is why I think it's going to be just a small part of that E3 Nintendo Direct, and Nintendo is not going to hold their own Zelda 35th 
anniversary direct now as i said in the beginning of this video we are going to talk about what i think nintendo can do better with these other 35th anniversaries so first off i think it would be better to have these other collection not be a limited release the fact is is that the people who are buying your games nintendo have limited money right now and for those who buy games for multiple platforms they need to be careful on how much money they're spending meaning they have a limited amount of games that they can buy per month or per week or whatever your daily budget is maybe they do want these games but not right now and they're saving up money that they would usually spend on other games for the newest pokemon snap or the pokemon diamond pearl remake heck if you manage to get a ps5 or an xbox series x and have a switch and a pc you have to be really really careful with your money so just cut the limited run and just release the game like any other normal game i'd also like to see a better remaster of these games while the upgrade in the mario 35th anniversary was an upgrade i think you can do better now of course aside from wind waker because that game just looks beautiful on its own and the only thing you can really do is bump the resolution up and the nintendo switch can only handle so much resolution not only that but please have enough stock for retailers so scalping does not become a problem we have had to deal with scalpers a lot this year and i don't think we want to deal with them any more than we are forced to a lot more stock would be appreciated with that being said guys do you think that nintendo is going to do a zelda 35th anniversary and what do you think about mario's 35th anniversary overall what is your review on the anniversary i think they will do a zelda 35th anniversary but i'm really curious on your thoughts tell me in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on the video it really 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 helps the video and of course subscribe for more videos just like this thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe stay charged and have a good one also before i leave if you got to the very end of this video uh, here's a cookie i'm actually curious on how many people are going to comment this in the comment section it's going to be fun to see i'll see you guys later